Hey there, everybody. Uh, I know that I haven't been back on here in a while, even though I said I was coming back. Uh, however, I've been busy. I'm not going to lie. I've been dealing with stuff with the Raven's Flock, just getting that working as it has been. Um, so I'm not here about me today. I'm here because a dear friend of mine who's working on a noble cause needs your help. This is my friend, Sarah DeArmond. She is the founder of Voiceless Behind Bars. It is a nonprofit advocacy group that works with wrongfully incarcerated prisoners in the hopes of raising funds to get their uh, cases reevaluated, get them set up with new attorneys, and hopefully have their sentences either reduced or completely removed. Now you're probably wondering, Juan, you're just an internet a-hole. You're just a guy on the internet who talks about geek stuff and nerd stuff. Why the hell does this matter to you? Well, it's not about me. Like I said, it's about Sarah. And uh, earlier today, a major governmental ruling was announced that could adversely affect her entire line of work, her entire livelihood, uh, that she has put so much of her time, her heart, her soul, her effort into and i'm uh, well let me just show you guys earlier today the united states supreme court announced a ruling that would make it much more difficult for inmates who were convicted of state crimes who are being held in federal prison to try and appeal their cases and have their cases reopened on the basis of having bad uh, uh, lawyering and bad legal counsel that led them to their sentencing to begin with specifically uh, Justice Clarence Thomas wrote in the majority opinion uh, that federal courts are barred from holding evidentiary hearings or considering any new evidence of claims that an inmate's attorney didn't provide them with proper legal counsel. Um, and of course, this is affecting voices behind bars in a monumental way. The point of all this is very simple. Sarah has come to this line of work because she feels strongly that people deserve a chance to be heard, that people who have been wrongfully convicted deserve a chance to be free. And this is how you can help out, folks. Right here. Just head over to voicelessbehindbars.org. Go ahead and look over the cases that Sarah and her team are working on. Uh, you can actually make a donation, give whatever you can, and help them out. It is tax deductible, and she could really use your help right now, please.